All the same, welcome back to the Black Jersey. I'm the host of the channel and my name's Max. Thank you for coming back and a big thank you again to my patrons over on Patreon. Please remember to join the um, subscribe star as well if you're ever keen to make a small donation just like these patrons. I've also got a wee PayPal donation button down in the description. Today's video is going to be about five potential player comebacks. Um, professional athletes can go up in form or they can go down in form and see a stock tank just like Netflix recently has. So yes, um, Hoskins Satushu is going to be the first player for my list. Hoskins Satushu started out really well for his debut All Black season. The guy recovered from an injury from he um, that he got rather from playing from the Blues, and goodness me, it was like nothing ever happened to Satushu. He was fired up, he was ready to go, he was making the most of his time in the black jersey, and he still continued to get more time in the black jersey in 2021. Um, he just had a bit of a a bad case of second year syndrome if you get what I mean. His form went down just a little bit for the All Blacks which allowed Luke Jacobson to make his comeback. Hoskin Satushu's kicking game got unleashed on South Africa last year though and um, I'm hoping he's done a bit of work on that over the off season because the Blues could do with a bit of a surprise option at number 8 with the kicking and stuff. Satushu still um, has a lot of power in the carry. He's a genuine line-out option of both locks are lifting him as well at 6 foot 3. And the guy's tackling is not to be underrated. He's great at knowing when and when not to compete for the ball as well. And I think now that he's kind of um, got his first taste of the black jersey, then had his second year syndrome, 2022 might finally be the year that Hoskins Satushu avoids injury and fulfills his potential. Now we're going to a player from the Chiefs. Look, Josh Yawani is looking really happy in the Chiefs outfit as you can see from these awesome photos from the Chiefs training and their media day and so on. Josh Yawani, I think, was being a bit of a pushover at the Highlanders and he was letting Tony Brown push him round into different jerseys that he wasn't really too keen on playing at. He played a bit at 12 in 2020 with Aaron Major as the head coach. Then last year in 2021, he played a bit at fullback with Mitch Hunt taking the reins at 10. Josh Yawani's not a 12. He's not a 15. He's a first five man. He's got great goal kicking. He's a great passer of the ball and he also has a bit of an eye from the tr for the try line rather <laughs> um he just prefers to let his teammates cross that line Josh Yuani is so much better than a one test all black he deserves far more caps and right now we desperately need a genuine second choice first five I've said it so many times Bodie's a fullback Dmax a fullback Geordie is a fullback Josh Yuani, please come back to the All Blacks. Fozzie, please bring him back to the All Blacks. I think he's going to have a wonderful season for the Chiefs and be their top point scorer of the competition. The next player comeback, I think, is going to be Tituero Tahurirangi. Tahurirangi, a few years ago, made his debut aged 23. And although the 2018 All Black season only saw him play three test caps, he did get trusted with the number nine jersey against Japan. Steve Hansen was like, you know, mate, I think this guy's got a fair bit of potential. And to be fair, back then, he was the closest replica of Aaron Smith that the coaches could probably get their hands on. Um, to Toido, to Huriarangi, I think um, looks ready to reignite his career, and his career wasn't really um, determined by himself, it was more just a matter of um, him just being in limbo, uh, getting stuck behind Brad Webber, who took over as the captain of the Chiefs when Sam Kane and Brody Retellick both got injured in 2019. To Huriarangi has really just Oh, struggled for game time since then and I really feel for the guy because after your first All Black season you really don't want to have no more test caps so fingers crossed to Hudi Arangi can start at 9 for the Crusaders and well I think he can 
Bryn Hall is about to turn 30, so he'll never be an All Black. Mitchell Drummond was stuck behind Bryn Hall for a very long time, so although Drummond has a test cap, um, I don't think he's going to be adding to them because being stuck behind Hall kind of halted his development a bit. So there is an opening at 9 for the Crusaders, and mate, TJ Pedernara is losing form at a very rapid pace, whereas Brad Webber um, is a bit old to be a third choice player at um at 31 no offense to brad weber so yeah there is definitely a chance for tahuri arangi to make a comeback if falau fakatava is deemed ineligible for the all blacks the representative from the highlanders in this video is marino mika eli the guy is a bruising carrier and he's again one of those loose forwards who just knows when and when not to compete for the ball the guy runs so hard there's a lot of determination in those eyes to do the best job he can for his team he just loves getting out there and representing the highlanders and the magpies so much and i believe he would carry that same fearsome attitude into the black jersey when he finally earns his debut. I tipped him for an All Blacks debut back in 2020. We really needed a number 8 to come in and take the place of Kieran Reid after he retired. Hoskins Satushu filled that role, but to me it was a bit harsh when Mika Eli Tu wasn't even selected for the North Island in 2020, and it was a real shame last year when he got injured because he really was unable to proved the doubters wrong he was unable to get back into his mojo after being snubbed for selection in 2020 2022 though he is back from that injured leg he is going to have a much better season than 2021 because he's actually going to be fit enough to play i can't wait to see the guy in action fully firing again just like he was in the npc last year um, if someone is injured, like Shannon Frizzell, expect him to take their place. Um, I think that, in all honesty, there is only going to be one change for the All Blacks loose forwards before the World Cup. That's Mika Eli too for Frizzell. The next comeback I see happening is Peter Umanga Jensen from the Hurricanes. He was a bit out of form in 2021 Super Rugby competition, like a lot of the Hurricanes were. He was even dropped to the bench for some silly reason. Look, um, I think Peter Umanga Jensen and Balin Sullivan will form an amazing midfield combination for the Hurricanes this season. Umanga Jensen and Sullivan both have a lot of power, they both have a lot of pace, and they are both very good defenders. Peter Umanga Jensen will be a far better 12 than Ngani Laumapi as well, as he's a really good passer, and he also knows when and when not to pass. Umang and Jensen's not going to pass for the sake of it. He's not going to hold on to the ball when he shouldn't be holding on to the ball. He's just going to time everything right because he has a very high rugby IQ. I think Peter Umang and Jensen, um, if Jack Goodhue is indeed not recalled, will be a very good guy to wear jersey 23 if someone in front of him is injured. He'll be able to cover both 12 and 13. And to be totally honest, I can see the guy covering the wing because he has that much pace. Peter Umanga Jensen is another one of those players that deserves a lot more than one single All Blacks test. Braden Enor had an incredibly poor season in 2021 as well, and so hey, that spot there is totally up for grabs, and I think Peter Umanga Jensen is one of the players' primes to take that spot. Thank you so much once again for watching the video, guys. A big shout out to my patrons as well. If you're ever keen to make a donation, you can visit Patreon, Subscribestar, or the PayPal button. Please like and subscribe this video. Hopefully that audio there is still pretty good. <laughs> Leave your thoughts below in the comments to tell me what you think about these players and their potential for a really good comeback. Cheers for watching the video, guys. It's much appreciated. Remember to follow me on Instagram and join the Discord server, and I will talk to you again later, team.